Hello kindergarten and welcome to Miss Baker's visual arts class. I'm so excited to be working with you today and I'll be teaching you how to make a whole town from one single cardboard box. You won't need very many things, a pair of scissors, a pen or pencil, and something to color with. I'll be using chalk for this tutorial, but you can use colored pencils or crayons or whatever you have around. The most important part is the box. You can pull it right out of your recycling and any box will work. Now I'm going to choose this cracker box because I like how tall it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart very carefully. Now all boxes have a seam. Right there you can see it. I'm just going to very gently take my hand and run it right under that seam and I get a flat piece of cardboard. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it around, kind of bend it at those natural folds that are already there, and basically I am turning my box inside out to make it stand up, but I want the side that doesn't have the Ritz cracker packaging on it. Okay, looks like it's going to stand, that's good. As you can see, now I have it flipped inside out. I have the foundation for my town. Now I'm going to lay it flat because I will be drawing on it. So I'm just going to kind of lay it out. Those are going to be my roofs. These are my buildings. And I'm not going to worry about this bottom part, so I'm going to fold that right under. Okay, now I'm going to start sketching out the basic parts of my buildings. I'm gonna have a door to each building. Okay, and I'm gonna have some windows. These don't have to be perfect squares. I want you just using your creativity, put as many windows as you'd like on. And I'm drawing light because I will be coloring over this, so it's okay if they're a little wobbly. Okay, I'm going to draw my windows on each part of the box. Okay, all done. now I'm going to get my colors out. And like I said, I'm using chalk. I like the way that it um, spreads smoothly and it's actually easy to find. You can use um, sidewalk chalk or just regular old chalk. These look a little fancy because these are artist chalks, but you can use anything. You can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you can use paint if you have it. If you don't have colors, that's okay. You can use a regular pencil. Maybe you add some pattern or some stripes just to give it a little bit of character. Okay, my first house was that brick red color. Now I'm going to do my next house kind of blue. And if you decide to use chalk, I like to spread the color out with my finger. It makes it look a little smoother. Okay, I'm going to make this house gray. You can choose any color you want. Like I said, if you don't have colors, that's okay. You can use your pencil. You can use some creativity to add some interest to your houses. This one I'm going to make kind of a yellowish color. And see, I'm avoiding coloring over my windows. I want my windows to stay the color of the box for now. All right, now I'm going to move on to the roof. Now this is already kind of brown, so that color didn't do much. So I'm going to add a darker color. I chose some of my black. So I'm just going to loosely put some color in there. As you can see, I'm not being very neat about it. You can be as neat or as sloppy as you want. I'm going to smudge mine a little bit. Just using my finger. If you don't want to get all dirty, you can use a tissue or something of that nature. Now I'm going to go over with my white and add some detail to that roof. I'm going to do the same over here. a different detail for my square roofs or my rectangle roofs. Okay, 
Okay, now I'm ready to do the windows. I left those blank. I was sure not to color over them before because I want them to be yellow as though the lights are on inside. So I'm just going to quickly lay down some yellow. Now, because I used my finger, you see I have some black on there. So I'm not gonna smudge that with the finger with the black chalk on it. So I'm gonna use a different finger, smooth out some of those areas. Now I'm gonna add my details back in. That's why I was not worried about whether or not it was perfect at the very beginning, because I knew I would be tracing over it again. This is really great practice for drawing squares and drawing straight lines. There's a lot of repetition. And now I'm gonna color in my doors. You really don't have to do this part, but I think it's fun. So I'm gonna use, I think some dark gray or some brown just to give those a little more depth. Again, I'm gonna smear. Okay, I'm done with my color. So now I'm gonna get my scissors out. We aren't, aren't going to do a whole lot with these scissors. I'm gonna dust some of that chalk off. But you wanna be careful to cut in the right spot. So I want these doors to open. I don't want to cut them apart. So I'm gonna avoid cutting in this way and I wanna go straight up, straight up. And then I'm gonna cut the two sides, one, two. Now that door is done and I can fold it just like a real door so it opens and closes. You don't wanna cut it all the way out. So again, not that way, straight up, one, two, fold it. Straight up, one, two, fold it. And one last time. One, two, three, fold it. Great work. It's starting to look like a town. Now we can make our building stand up. We're gonna use those feet that we left blank. Remember that part of the box? And there you have our cardboard box town. Depending on how big you made those doors, you can use it as a toy, or you can just enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this project, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you came up with.